afternoon and welcome to the Now Detroit. I'm, I'm David Llewellyn. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. The search for a kidnapped two-year-old girl comes to a crashing end on Detroit's west side. After a police chase, the suspect crashed on Myers Road near Seven Mile. That's where we find the Now Detroit Simon Chowdhury. Simon, what is the little girl's condition right now? Well, Carolyn, the toddler appeared to be okay when our cameras were rolling on her right here, but she was taken to the hospital and the extent of her injuries are not known right now. But this is all that's left from that crash, some debris and tire marks. Now, if the ordeal of being taken isn't traumatizing enough, the police chase and the crash ending could leave anyone shaken up. In this cell phone video, you can see the chaos erupting after a police chase comes to an end. Our cameras were rolling when two-year-old Sandra Renee is found safe. This after police say her mother's boyfriend, Grady Barrett, took her from her aunt's house early Tuesday morning at knife point. Hours later, an Amber Alert is issued. There are criteria for issuing the Amber Alert, so once we piece all that together, we, we get it issued as fast as we can. Police throughout the state were on high alert for the black pickup truck Barrett was driving. An officer spotted him on I-75 near the Ohio border and tried to get the suspect to pull over. And that's when the hour-long chase started. As you can see, our seven action news cameras were rolling at a safe distance during the pursuit. At that type of speed, you know, if he would have probably crossed a, a live intersection, people would have got killed that way. No. So they did what they had to do to stop him. In this surveillance video, you can see a state police car bumping the back of the truck. The suspect then crashes into several cars before coming to a stop. Police found the knife and the machete in the truck. The suspect and the woman who was in the vehicle were arrested and the child was taken to the hospital. Witnesses are relieved the girl was found safe and that no one was killed. I really thank the police because this guy was not stopping, mm -hmm. you know, not stopping at all. Again, this is all that's left from that crash. Now, again, the child was taken to the hospital. The extent of her injuries are not known right now. The suspect was also taken to the hospital as well after being arrested. Now, we're told the child, though, has been reunited with her mother. I'll send it back to you. Boy, thank goodness that little girl is okay. Simon, have police identified the woman who is in that truck at this point? Well, police tell me they have identified this woman, but they're not releasing her name or any other information because she has not been charged with anything just yet. And right now it's unclear what exactly her role was in all of this and what her relationship was with the child or the suspect. But police say they will release that information as soon as they can make it available. But again, the woman has not been charged with anything, which is why they have not identified her just yet. So I understand that. Thank you for clarifying that, Simon, for us, and just happy that that little girl is going to be okay. We'll talk to you later, Simon. Coming up on Action News at 5, our coverage continues on the Amber Alert chase and crash. We're learning why police continue that chase into a neighborhood.